Happy Monday, you ready to film? Dude, JT's not here. What? You didn't get the video? What video? Uh, Yo, JJ, Ashanti, how we doing? I'm um, in Pikes Place, Seattle right now, but don't fear, because I'm gonna hop on a ferry, then take a boat, then hop on a train, then catch my flight, and I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there in time, it'll take me like 30 minutes. I'm gonna get there, don't worry. Rainbow Roundup, let's go. This is your Rainbow Roundup. Man, what a game. Safety Peter Manuma had an impressive game leading the Warriors with 12 tackles, 7 unassisted, and had one of UH's 3 interceptions of the night. Once again, wide receiver Pofele Ashlock showed up and showed out. Besides having a season-high 12 receptions for 67 yards, Ashlock also had two touchdowns, both coming from quarterback Braden Shager. Shager completed his first 10 passes, finishing 22 of 29 for 176 yards. The Bulls plan to extend their winning streak going into their final road game of the season. Take it on Wyoming on November 18th at 9 a.m. Hawaii time. Rainbow Wahine bounced back this weekend going against UC Irvine and Cal State Fullerton. The Bows came out hot on Friday securing a sweep against the Anteaters as they took that momentum into the next match on Saturday against Cal State Fullerton securing the win in the fourth set 25-14. Amber Ijidi had a historic week in picking up her 500th career block, becoming just the fourth Rainbow Wahine in UH history to join the 1,000 kill and 500 block club. UH is looking to build on these wins this week in the final two matches of the season, beginning on Friday against UC San Diego and on Saturday against Long Beach State at the Simple Fire Arena at 7 p.m. Hawaii time. Remember, Saturday is Show em Your Aloha Senior Night as we celebrate six seniors one final time at the Simple Fire Arena. Make sure to wear your favorite Aloha attire. Rainbow Wahine Tennis had multiple great performances in the Rainbow Wahine Fall Invitational, winning five of their six matches in their final day. The Bulls swept their three doubles matches against White Pacific, UH also was able to secure a shutout in one of their singles matches. The Wahine will wrap up their fall schedule next week against Stanford at the Fairmount Orchid Hawaii in Kohala. It was great seeing our softball bows doing what they do best on the field again. The Wahine hosted the annual fall preseason classic over the weekend. The tournament started on Thursday where the Rainbow Warriors fell short to the Silver Swords 5-3. But don't worry, because the bows made sure to bounce back on Friday, sweeping their doubleheader against Shamadon and Fullerton. The tournament concluded yesterday where the Wahine yet again swept the competition. If you couldn't catch a game this weekend, it's okay. Softball season will be here right before you know it. Rainbow Wahine basketball tipped off their season on the road against two Bay Area teams, Stanford and Santa Clara. Unfortunately, the Bulls ended up with two losses, but looking on the bright side, newcomer Brooklyn Brewers recorded a double-double against Santa Clara with 19 points and 12 rebounds. Make sure to mark your calendars as our Wahine will be hosting the Bang of Hawaii Classic starting on Friday against the University of San Francisco at 2.30 Hawaii time. Men's basketball tips off their season against UH Hilo on Tuesday. Followed by Niagara on Thursday. Both tip offs are at 7 p.m. I'm Jason. And I'm Ashanti. And this I is your. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's his first time, you know. <laughs>